Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your project for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, or in other words, it is for cross-platform. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my Filmora 12 start page, and I got a notification here, upgrade to Filmora 12.3.4 with some new feature. By the way, for me, these are all feature because I already have them on my computer. Okay, so just click here. So the first option is to export your project for YouTube. And there are two kind of video on YouTube now. The, the first one is long form video, which is in 16 by 9. So which is a horizontal video like this. And the second one is short, which is vertical one. Okay, so we start with the first one first. All right, so in order to create a long form video with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, I have to select the aspect ratio right here. And then I can just click here to create a new project. And now supposing that I have a video here on the timeline, for example, I can go to stock media and then I can find a video just for example. Okay. Okay. And let's close this one first. And this is a video about any more. Okay. And we will keep the project setting at 1080p, 24 frames per second. Just click here to keep the project setting. By the way, before editing your video, you have to set up your project properly first. Okay. In order to set up your project, you want to click here. At this button and then you want to click here change project aspect ratio and now you want to double check your aspect ratio resolution and also the frame rate right here for a normal youtube video i normally select aspect ratio 16 by 9 and resolution 1080p because my computer is not strong enough for a 4k video okay and 24 frames per second for vlog cooking video and travel video and then you want to click here okay All right. So now if you want to export your project in Filmora Trial, you have to create an account here. I already purchased a license of Filmora Trial. So this is my account. Okay. Just click here and you see this is a new account center and we have this uh, overview and this is my license. And if you don't see the license here, you will see some offer for different plans of Filmora Trail. And being mentioned that if you want to purchase the license of Filmora Trail, check out my 20% discount coupon code in the description. Okay, and just make sure that you log in to your account. And then you want to click here to export the video. Okay, so when you click the export button, there will be a new window here. So there's some information right here you want to consider. The first one is the thumbnail of your video. If you want to change the thumbnail, you can just click here and select a thumbnail for your video from the video. Okay, and you can even load an image on your computer to use as a thumbnail of your video. So we can set this as a thumbnail. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is to select the file format for your video. So right here we have the format button and for a YouTube video you want to select MP4 or AVI. Okay, so normally we can select MP4. I want to just select the MP4 right here and then I want to write a name. For example, this is example for YouTube long form video and you can even ask AI to write a title for your video here also and the next thing you want to select a location on your computer to save your video for me it is in C document okay and if you want to change the folder you can just click here and select another folder on your computer okay so I'm going to click cancel and the next thing you want to select a preset for your YouTube video In this case, I want to match the export setting with my project setting. So I can just click here at this preset button. And now I want to click here, match to project setting. Okay. And the next thing you want to click here at the setting button to increase the bitrate number of your video. Okay. Just click here. And now you want to change the bitrate mode from variable bitrate to constant bitrate because it will maintain the video quality. By the way, the file size is a little bit bigger in comparison with the variable bitrate. And for the bitrate number, you can increase it to 15,000 or 20,000 kbps. It's up to you. Okay. Normally, I would select 20,000. And now you can just click apply and then you can just click here to export your YouTube video. Okay. When it is done, you can open the folder. Okay. Just open the folder. And this is my folder. And we have a long form video, long form video here and a thumbnail right here. So we can just click here to view the video. Very nice, right? 
So this is the first option to export a long form video and you have another solution to export the video and upload your video directly to YouTube also. Okay, so let's go back to my Filmora. If you click here at the export button, there will be some more option right here. For example, if you want to export and upload your video directly to YouTube, you can just select YouTube right here, but you have to log into your account also. And you have the same option for TikTok, Vimeo, and also DVD. All right, so this is how to export a long form video for YouTube. But uh, what if you want to create vertical video or a short video? You want to change your project setting first, okay? So the first thing you want to change your project setting and then you want to edit your video and after that you can export. For example, I can click here to change the project setting. Just click here, change project aspect ratio again. And now I can select the aspect ratio right here. For YouTube short or Instagram, we can select one by one or nine by 16 aspect ratio. So it's up to you. But uh, for example, I can select uh, 9 by 16 portrait okay for the resolution I can keep it at 1080p and also the frame rate is 24 frames per second and then I can click OK but now my video is very small at the center of the screen so I have to crop the video to make it full screen okay in order to crop the video all I need to do is to right click here and then I can select crop to feed okay to make it full screen and now we can do the same to export this vertical video. Just click here at the export tab. And then we want to change the thumbnail also. Just click here to change the thumbnail. So we are going to use this one as a thumbnail. Okay, and set as thumbnail. And we want to give it a name, maybe video short. And we want to select a location to save the video also. And being mentioned that the format file is MP4. And for the preset, we want to match the project setting. Okay, so always select match to project setting. If you already have a correct project setting. Okay, so we want to scroll down here, scroll up here and select match to project setting. And the next thing, double check the setting button. Okay, just click here. And now it is variable bitrate and we can increase the beat rate and change it to constant beat rate and also increase the beat rate number to 20,000 kbps okay and click apply and now we can also export this video okay and we can open the folder right here and we have this folder okay so this is a video shot and let's play it it is in vertical Okay, and you can use this video for both TikTok or YouTube short. And the other one is Instagram Reel. So it is in one by one aspect ratio. And we can do the same. All right, close it here. And then go back to your Filmora and also change the aspect ratio. Just click here and select aspect ratio one by one for Instagram. And we can keep at 1080p also and click OK. And we need to crop the video also. Okay, right click here and select crop to fit. And now we can just click here to export the video. And change the thumbnail. Okay. To this side and set as thumbnail. And we can give it a name Instagram. And also this is the location and the preset. We can select match to project setting and go to setting and increase, change the beat rate and increase the beat rate number to 20,000. Click apply and now export. Alright, so this is how to export your project for cross-platform using Filmora 12. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.